Welcome to the 1 to 3 add-ons presentation on Create Companies from Contacts for ACT. This product uses the Contact Company field and the address details to create ACT companies in the ACT company database. It links the contact or contacts with the same company name to the ACT company. It can be used over existing contacts or companies. It has a duplicate checker that makes sure that the product does not create duplicate companies from the same contacts or different contacts uh, in ACT. In addition, it has an option that you can actually create different company records with the same name if the address is different. So let's look at ACT and I just go to the contacts database. We can look here in this version on this configuration of ACT that we have that we have no companies defined. So well, let's go back to the contacts. Um, the companies here is what we're going to be creating. Um, you see A1 Services US operations as uh, two employees. Here has ACE pet store franchises. Uh, there's quite a few of them, so we'll probably get a, quite a few links of, to one company on the Ace Pet Store franchises, and so on. So we'll look at the, at the create companies from contacts and see how to set that up. So let's get that started. We'll select it from our toolbar, create companies for contacts for ACT. And the uh, first thing we do is we select the database, Act 1 Demo. It will ask us for a username and password, so Chris Huffman. Uh, we have a our own password there. Okay. And now we're set to, to start uh, creating the companies. So to create the company is quite easy. Just click on Create Companies from Contacts and uh, the software will go, will start and it will list at the bottom um, as it's creating, going through the contacts, finding the unique contacts and the unique companies and just creating and linking them. And then it will tell you if um, we're done and if ACT is open, you got to restart it because that's when the company's database get uh, gets refreshed. So we have restarted now ACT. Uh, we'll go and click on the companies. And here we have all the companies that are the old unique companies that are on the on the ACT um, database. So if you click on the Ace Pet Store franchise you'll find these are all the individuals that are on that uh, Ace Pet uh, Store franchises. So what we've done is taken the unique names for the contacts, created companies out of them and, and basically uh, linked all the contact to these companies. So now uh, we let's just in, add another contact. Let's uh, add a contact called uh, John uh, Palmer and uh, just to we'll put the same Ace Pet Store franchises and we save this contact. So now we've added an additional contact to the contacts database and um, and if you look at the companies the comp it will not show up on the companies because it's not there. Well this is quite simple we just run the create companies from contacts again we just do uh, run the whole and it goes through all the contacts. Now we have 202 contacts it will tell you to restart the, the ACT database. So we go here and stop it. Let's get back and restart it again. Let's log in. Let's click on the company's um, uh, option and then just go to the Ace Pet Store franchises and here you are. John Palmer is not there. So 
our product basically maintains the company information, uh, the membership, uh, even though the company already exists and without any duplication. There's a couple of other options that we have on the product. You can have the matching of the company name and the first address line. So if the company name and the first address line are different, the product then will not uh, will create a new company even though the company name is the same so you can actually have if you have subsidiaries of the same company the name is the same but the address is different and you'll have a, a different matching there so just final as a final uh, exercise uh, what if you have companies there you don't want and you just want to start afresh we offer a quick and easy option destructed though make a backup of yak database uh, before you use this this will delete all the companies without affecting your contacts so you can go in here it will delete anything to do with those companies so if you click here it will ask you whether you want to delete those companies click and all the companies now are being removed from the act database so if you refresh the the act database go back to the contacts uh, and now you can and, and now you click on the companies tab you'll see there's no companies on the act database so the this option basically removes the companies from the company's database without affecting the contacts the contacts are still there so um, but uh, the companies you can start afresh and running it, the comp uh, the create companies from contacts again basically will create a, a whole new set of companies in, in, in your company's database.